The Oklahoma Business Ethics Consortium brings fascinating speakers to Tulsa for their luncheons. And today, entrepreneur and business ethics magazine columnist Gail O'Brien will explore qualities that impact leaders' effectiveness. And she joins us this morning along with ethics founder Lynn Flynn. Thank you, ladies, for joining us this Thank morning. You. Thank you. All right, so you guys actually bring a lot of people to Tulsa. Tell us about the organization. Well, OK Ethics is now 10 years old. Wow. It's hard for me to believe that, but we are 10 years old and we have about 200 companies in Oklahoma City and Tulsa that are members and total we have about 945 people now that are in our group and we get together once a month and we have speakers such as Gail mm -hmm. and we our purpose is to, to promote ethics in business and um, we just feel like a lot of times people take it for granted and they'll say oh I'm an ethical person why do I need such an organization but the reality of it is is that we are faced with those kind of decisions every day is this the right thing to do I think it's scary when you start believing that oh I won't make any mistakes I don't need to have this organization but the truth of it is you're the very person that probably should be paying attention to what's going on around you and mm -hmm. asking questions about have you involved other people in your decision making what's happening with this decision I'm about to make and that's why we exist and um, once a month we get to have wonderful speakers come in like Gail and tell us some things that leaders might want to know about. So it's fortunate. a good reminder, good refresher courses, yes. especially when you can meet with other people and talk about problems maybe that you've had together and talk them out that way. Gail, what are some of the highlights you're going to touch on today at the luncheon? What matters is that leaders see the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And one of the best ways to do that is to invite really conflicting and opposing points of view to the table because those points of view are going to show up at some point in the process and you might as well get them at the beginning mm -hmm. so that you can see the whole of it and avoid potential red flags that could cause ethical problems later. All right, some good points to consider. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how people, if they have questions in general, even if they can't make it today, that there is a way to contact you. Well, I, I would we'll love that. it. Um, I write for Entrepreneur Magazine, the Ethics Coach column, mm -hmm. and I would love to get questions about ethical issues on entrepreneurs' minds and include them in the Entrepreneur Magazine Ethics Coach column. And the address is ethics at entrepreneur.com. We were talking earlier about how Tulsa is ranked extremely high across the nation for a place to start mm -hmm. a business, to be an entrepreneur because of the support systems, and mm -hmm. it's got to be OK Ethics that's adding to that mm -hmm. value as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, because Tulsa is such a small business town, we have large businesses, small businesses, all different types of people in the organization, and it is fun to have all the different topics that we bring in. Next month, we're going to have a really fun one that's called uh, You Aren't Weren't Called to Be Normal. So I think a lot of us can re can re definitely relate to that that we're not very normal mm -hmm. um, and just how can you be a better leader and still be a little strange and um, I think they're gonna have a lot of fun topics this year and it's it's really enjoyable to get all the people together and talk about these kinds of issues so if you're an individual <clears throat> is it easy to sign up that way or mm -hmm. is it mostly business groups? yeah um, individuals we have individual members and we have business members so we have all levels we try to make it really affordable for anybody to be a part of it because we we want to be included so it's really easy to be a member and sign up on our website and I know you're gonna show that on the later so we'll show everyone how they can sign up but today when you're speaking are you going to take questions from the audience as absolutely. well? absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. so you can start that question mm -hmm. and answer absolutely. early. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what have you thought of our town so far I know you've had to fly in I think it's wonderful mm -hmm. I have to say it's she wonderful. flew through all kinds of trouble oh. to be no, here Tulsa is, is I, I'm from the East Coast and mm -hmm. Tulsa is sort of this romantic sort of fascinating kind of place with famous people who've come here, Will Rogers and all kinds of wonderful people. And so it's great to be here. I'm sorry I can't stay long enough to see as much of it, but Lynn was kind enough to show me parts of Tulsa last night, and mm -hmm. I think it's a great town. It is, and it's a great place to start a business and to get started up with mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of great people, like you said, have gone through here. But we want to keep, Tulsa's a great kept secret, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> it's true. Absolutely. Visit, but don't stay. Too Visit, long. but you can stay if you're going to bring something <laughs> awesome, which we appreciate yeah. as well. Thank you both for being here this morning. And we're going to tell everyone how they can get signed up for OK Ethics. And the luncheon is happening today. but. Of course, there's great ones coming up as well if you missed today's speaker today is Gail O'Brien and is from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Doubletree Hotel. It's at 616 West 7th Street, and you can look them up online, okethics.org, and look about signing you and your business up for this group. Also, you can look up Gail at gailobrien.com for more information.